Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop. The model of this is 16-A0045NR. Let me show you the keyboard here. So it's kind of like a neon green, and um, it runs on an Intel i5 processor. This is the 10th generation, and also have the uh, graphics card on it, uh, the GeForce NVIDIA. So let me try to turn it on and show you what error message do I get. So I'm having the uh, disk error. So it says smart hard disk error. And I'll be doing a hard drive replacement on this. So at the same time, I'm going to do a teardown on the computer. And I wanted to share this video with you. If you have the same problem as I do, then this video is going to show you how to do uh, you know step by step on how to replace the hard drive if you have a bad CPU fan or maybe a battery a bad RAM and this tutorial would would kind of guide you on how to do the repair step by step alright so let's begin and here I'm having the uh, electronic screwdriver so as I you know throughout the whole day I'll be working on all the laptops repair so I do come across uh, myself being quite tired sometimes um, having to you know take out a lot of screws and put it back in so having this electronic screwdriver is actually very helpful um, I kind of like it so far Alright, so the four screws on the top are much longer and then the four screws at the bottom are a lot shorter. So if you're having the same um, error message that I got saying that the smart hard disk error, please go ahead and comment yourself and say, hey, I have the same problem like you know like I'm getting and uh, you know at least I know that this is you know like the hard drive is actually not a well made maybe I don't know but if you have any other problems uh, just comment below and let me know I'll try to make a video for you and show you how to do it um, right now I'm using a plastic prying tool I'm trying to pry open the back cover Try not to stick it too deep because you do not want to damage the motherboard. All right, so pretty much uh, once you remove that that screws, you can just pop open the back cover, and let's put the back cover on the side. Alright, so here you can actually see that um, the CPU fan is here and with the graphics card. So the CPU and the graphics card they share with the same heat sink. This is the hard drive. Um, this is the battery, your M.2 solid state drive, and two of your DDR4 RAM. Alright, so let me go ahead and disconnect the battery. Uh, for, for those of you who have the battery problem, you know, um, you need to disconnect the connector. How to do it is you just kind of use the fingernail and push it down, slide it towards the body. And once you have that done, go ahead and remove the screw. And before you continue with the uh, other repair or anything else I would like to ask you a small favor by hitting the like button uh, maybe and subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell um, and comment below ask me questions right and if you have a different laptops uh, that you need help with just comment below and I'll try to make a video and help you with that alright so the battery on this model is PG03XL and if your battery is not holding the charge or your battery has a lump on it or swollen 
that's the, the time when you need to replace the battery. Alright, so here is the uh, hard drive. Uh, what I need to do is to flip open the clipper. And once that white clipper is open up, you can slide the cable to your right. And let's go ahead and remove this hard drive. So this is actually a secondary hard drive, meaning that um, the main one is still running off the M.2. And if you happen to have a backup drive like a D drive for additional storage, uh, this is where you can add additional um, slot for it, right? So um, you can remove the connector and then remove the four screws. Once the four screws is removed, you can remove this um, this plastic. This is not a hard drive, okay? Uh, this is just a cover that they they have it for you. So if you want to install remove the plastic, remove the screws and then install this 2.5 inch hard drive here connect this, then you're gonna have the uh, secondary D drive for this. Now the reason why I'm having the error message is actually coming from the M.2 drive okay so to remove the M.2 go ahead and remove that one screw and then the M.2 will slide away from my body so slide that direction, slide it out and this is the M.2 and they actually use um, a Western Digital 256 gigabyte uh, if you have if you need a larger capacity like 512 or maybe 1 terabyte uh, if you want to upgrade your M.2 I have a video um, in my channel that says how to clone M.2 to a larger drive or how to upgrade it go check it out um, you, I will show you step by step on how to clone from a regular 2.5 M.2 to a larger 1 terabyte. Alright, so I'll be replacing that in just a minute. Um, but yeah, let's continue to do a teardown on this computer here. Right here is actually your uh, touchpad. Go ahead and open up the clipper. Slide the cable down. This is your keyboard. Open up the clipper. Slide that keyboard down as well. That flex cable. This is the keyboard lighting, okay? So open the clipper, slide it down. Now for those of you who wants to upgrade the RAM, uh, push the side clipper on both sides and the RAM would pop up at about 45 degree angle and slide it out. As you can see, this runs on a PC4, meaning that this is a DDR4 RAM. So it might have been four and four, so you have eight gigs total. Uh, if you want to upgrade to 8 and 8, 16, you can. Uh, to install, you're just going to slide it back in and push it down, and the clipper would lock it on its own. Alright, so the next step here is... The next step here is I'll be disconnecting the uh, DC jack uh, connector right here. So I'm using my... Uh, fingernail and slide it away from my body S that direction and that's how I disconnect the DC jack okay so this one is actually for your um, LCD screen so open up the clipper go ahead and put that on the side this is your CPU um, CPU fan connector right so to, to to open it there's no clipper or anything just lift it up you have two fans so two connectors lift it up uh, this is probably something to do with I don't know I need to double check might be a speaker okay just lift it up there's no connector as well and this is your Wi-Fi so in the Wi-Fi here you do have a plastic so remove this plastic here and I like to make a little um, dot so I know that this dot right here belongs to the left um, and then the right has no sharpie marker on it so I know where Wi-Fi goes after okay so let's go ahead and try to remove the uh, CPU fan
Alright, so once you remove all the screws, the CPU fan will just come out without any problem. And if you want to find the replacement part of it, uh, let's go ahead and look for the L77560-001. Alright. Now the next thing I need to do is I try to um, disconnect this cable right here. This is actually the I.O. board for the USB on the right side. So let's go ahead and disconnect that. Uh, my goal is to remove the motherboard and show you what is underneath the motherboard. Um, just wanted to let you know that it looks like the motherboard is not a replaceable motherboard. Meaning that the... Sorry, that seems to be a little bit hard to remove. Um, it looks like the, the keyboard here is not replaceable, meaning that the keyboard is built in together with the palm rest. And if you spill stuff on a keyboard and if, if your keyboard is not working, uh, in other words, you need to replace the entire uh, palm rest. I'll show it to you in a, in a second. Let me go ahead and remove all the screws here. Alright, so once you have all the screws removed, the entire uh, motherboard will just come right out without any problem. It's very straightforward. And if you want to do a motherboard replacement, you have this number here, DAG3JBMB8DO. Um, so let me turn it around and show you what is in the back. Uh, that's pretty much just a standard. There's nothing else. There's no CMOS battery or whatsoever. Actually, nowadays, all the laptop that runs off the main battery, right? So that, that main battery is feeding onto the uh, um, the uh, the motherboard for the time and date. Now, if you have problem with the um, overheating, right? So let's say your computer is overheating and, and you feel like you can hear the fan is going on a loud, loud speed, like loud noise, buzzing sound. Uh, more likely is that the thermal paste is all dried up okay that means it's time to apply a new thermal paste so what you want to do is you want to remove the screw so one two three four five six seven eight I don't think the screw is removable I mean just loose up the screw and then remove the heat sink once the heat sink is removed go ahead and get a alcohol wipe and wipe down the thermal paste and have the uh, thermal new thermal compound and applied it on too. So I'm not going to make that video here because uh, You know, this is almost a brand new laptop. So it doesn't have you know, I think my thermal paste is still uh, Good it's not dried up. But if you're watching this video like years down the road uh, This you might want to consider applying a new thermal paste All right, so let's put that on the side here. So as you can see uh, the keyboard is actually uh, punched down right you see the all this punched down uh, so it's not replaceable in other words you would have to replace the entire um, bottom here now before you can do that you actually need to remove the hinge right so go ahead and remove the speaker first so there's one screw to this speaker second screw and the speaker I guess you can just lift it up Oh no, you actually have to remove the hinge. I'm sorry about that. So let's go ahead and remove the hinge. Remove the three screws, the silver screws. If you want to do a screen replacement, uh, there are two ways to do it. You can do like replacing the entire thing with the hinge on it, uh, or you can just replace the LCD. So this video here you get to see on how to replace the entire LCD screen okay you get to see the replace the entire LCD screen um, I'm not gonna make a separate video for just LCD screen replacement uh, you know but yeah so what you want to do is you want to lift up the hinge at about 90 degree angle 
at this point you can actually slide you can actually slide the uh, slide off the uh, entire keyboard away from the screen right so uh, sorry about the speaker we were working on it earlier right so as you can see that the keyboard is actually one big piece together uh, once you remove the two screws the speaker is just gonna come right out okay let's just take it out for now let's put it on the side here all right so the entire um, keyboard the, the palm rest everything is all one big piece together if you have a bad keyboard uh, you would have to replace the whole thing okay and this is what I was referring to the entire LCD screen uh, you, there are two ways to do it one is to you know remove the hinge the second one is to remove the bezel all right so uh, if you have any question comment below um, take care and I'm glad the video helps you bye